God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. What is bad about the Lord Jesus Christ? Yeah. Right. What about him you can't deal with? On, <laughs> Why you want to put him out to school? Why you want him out the courtroom? Right. Why you want him out of your marriage? Why you want him out your house or out your life? Why? What about Jesus you don't like? And, and, the, see, and the thing about it, like you said, we're in a warfare. It's really not them, but the enemy that's working in them, yeah. right? <laughs> that wants to take the word out of the heart because he comes immediately. Yeah. And he said, that's why you got to live. I like that. That's a script interesting. Manner of life. Yeah. Texas, the the uh, Getting on a piggyback there for what Elder just said. You know, so we want to take in what you're saying. We want to take the word out. We want to take Jesus out. Yeah. Now, let's look at what we put in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Woo. Right. What if we read? What if I wouldn't even use the word replace? But what have we done as a result? I Ooh. mean, right now we're coming up on Halloween. Nobody's complaining about g ghosts and goblins and and uh, all manner of, of perversion. Uh, you, know, you can walk up and down the street with all these masks on and 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 uh, perpetrate, you know, these different characters and and all Ooh. that. And I'm not talking about these fantasy goodwill characters. I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, we can, we can, you know, I don't know about Jason and Friday the Thirteenth, but you know, whatever version of the movie he's on, all of these movies that are out there about, you know, dismembering bodies and and doing this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it, 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 it's so obvious Ooh. that that we we have missed it. And, uh, you know, society itself has missed it. It's like, OK, so you're trying to say that you want to protect yourself against uh, maybe being indoctrinated by, by a, a religion, you know, in this case, Christianity. So you put so instead you put Satan in the way. Instead, you allow you get indoctrinated by him. <laughs> yeah, boldly come up on in your face, in your house, uh, on the airways. Uh, uh, you, you, you see what I'm saying? So yeah. that's instead. It's beyond insanity, what, you know, what we've done, right. what we've done. And somebody used the word earlier, compromise, you know, we, we have. But but that is why we get together like we're doing right now, so that we can peel back some of that stuff and say, hey, look, not some of it, really all of it. All of it, yeah. Look, you know, in spite of what a few people, out of all the people that go through the gate, <laughs> we let a few people that said, I don't want to have somebody tell me to be blessed. We're going to stop that. Just that easy. You see Come on now. I mean, we just roll over like that. Okay. Where, where Chris at? We need Chris now. <laughs> you can see four. He's drinking the here with some you know, <laughs> see, but, but, some but, C4 you know what I'm saying? C4 in, the, in, the in it, yeah. <laughs> but see, that's that's but that also tells us how easy we we ourselves can can give into the compromise right. and how you know we're thinking okay i'm gonna i'm gonna respect your wishes uh or, or or and i don't even i don't even even if i have a problem putting it together you guys in your spirit know what i'm talking about the thing is is if we if we we've given into it then we've allowed satan to move you to to to, to just get us off track to yeah. get us off focus, to not live like we look. Listen, you know what? Say what you got to say. Be in the spirit. Walk, and if that persecution Walk, come comes, come. Yeah. And, and listen, you know, if I got to sit down with somebody and explain myself, fine. I, this is not another opportunity for me to profess my my uh, my, my belief faith. in the Lord. Yeah, Jesus Christ. my kind of life. Right. That's right. 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 That's right. You know, and, you know, you know, and I had a guy tell me one time, and I'll I'll get off my soapbox. Right, I had right. a guy tell me one time. That he said, look, you know, one day you may have to, uh, in order to do the right to do the right thing, you may lose your job. See, that might be where, where we're at now. Uh -huh. In order to do the right thing, yeah, we may have to lose our job, lose that reputation, lose whatever status is out there. Because uh -huh. if we gotta be of the world, right, then it ain't worth it. Come on, brother. It ain't. Yeah, and you remember you remember that time when they was trying to take Christmas and put Xmas. Yeah. And, uh, right. You know that that was a big thing one time for quite a while, and, and then there was the, the the supreme. I guess they went through the court system trying to get in God we trust off our currency, mm -hmm. uh, and people need to understand the the founding fathers of this country and so forth. 
in that port perspective, it said, this is our life. <laughs> you know, really putting that on that currency? That mm -hmm. is saying, this, we live by trusting in God. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not doing it from a religious perspective. Maybe that came out to become later on, but reality is saying in God, is that what the Bible said? Trust in the Lord with all, all thy heart. Lead not to thine own understanding. And lead not to own understanding. All you know, I, go ahead, Jim. I think it's a testimony that the world, from a spiritual perspective, knows that Jesus is Lord yeah. because yeah. that's the only thing that they're against. <laughs> they don't mind you. You could you could use a substitute that in schools or in court systems or anywhere you want. And you could talk about Muhammad. You could talk about Hare Krishna. You could talk about the Dalai Lama. You could talk about the words of wisdom from any book of antiqu antiquity. As much as you want, you can call on any name you want to call on, and no one is going to ever have a problem with it whatsoever. Right. But if you start saying the name of Jesus, uh -huh. then everything is going to be in an uproar. Right. And so I just think that in itself is enough of a testimony that there's something about that name mm -hmm. that even the yes. world understands. Yes. That look yes. here, this is just not name. some <laughs> arbitrarily made up thing. You know what I'm saying? And yes, that, sir, I, brother. I love that. Yes, sir. And that way, says we should live by. We do live. This is our life. Matter of fact, and I want to throw in there that if you the reason why they don't go against too much against a Muslim or some of these other type of religions, say this is their culture. It's not. It's not a threat. It went. Man, well, often they say they justify because that's their culture. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 but yeah, and, and, and they don't get any argument because it's our culture. And they we are Christian know. culture. As a matter of fact, if you look at the Bible and we interpret it and receive it as it says. Any man to be in Christ is a new creation. A new creation. You are a new race. Come on, brother. There when you, you start go. to discriminate against Christians, you literally discriminate against it's, it's racial discrimination. It is discrimination. Yeah, it, it is, is. That's, that's, discrimination. That's what I have been thinking uh, all along while we were on this particular topic that this is basically the world's discrimination uh -huh. against who we are because it's. It's not what we believe, it's who we, we are. are. Now you preach it. We it's who we are. You preach it. I, I think that uh, I, I want to just kind of piggyback on something that uh, uh, that Jimmy Hill said. <clears throat> and uh, if you really, if you really think about uh, What 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 the what unsaved people? What I used to not like or desire about Jesus. You think about this really serious. You understand why it is that way. You see, Jesus is the this this <laughs> kingdom of God. This Christ, this true Christian faith. This body of Christ is the only uh, teaching that confronts you personally. Mm -hmm. And it confronts you in a way, listen, it touches the very core of what you treasure. Mm. When you start talking about Jesus, you all of a sudden start talking about selflessness. Uh, huh. you, listen. Yeah. What the world offers you is a counterfeit of what God created you to experience. Hmm. What, what, what Satan can offer you is temporary pleasure. Now, I don't know if you I don't know if you agree with me, but it, no, it's what, temper, yeah, yeah. what makes this world go around is really pleasure. Mm. And in order to get pleasure, you need money and wealth and power. Yes, sir. Are you with me? Yeah. And so he tells Timothy that in the last day, men are going to become lovers of their own self, mm. lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Mm -hmm. They want to hang on to God so they'll have a form of God. Okay. Okay. But they will deny the power thereof. Now, you start dealing with Jesus, he 
start telling you you weren't created to be controlled by alcohol. <laughs> you, you, you want you you're not you're really selling yourself short if you sell yourself to temporary presence of sex with multiple women. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You start touching the very thing that you treasure, and nobody wants to have those things taken away. Mm. You never expect the flesh to surrender its pleasure. Yet what Jesus teaches touches the very core of what we believe or are deceived into believing is what life really is. Mm. So Jesus start coming to you and start talking to you about things that listen, you gotta let go of everything. Yeah, not, not, I don't know about you, but when I when you when you start hearing the gospel, yes, sir. Hearing that boys and girls start talking to you. See, I in my mind, I'm like, I can't drink no more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't smoke no more marijuana. <laughs> I can't sleep with Sally and Mary. See, when you start hearing the gospel and the truth start penetrating your heart, you you realize that God is asking you to die. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new creature for it, right? Can I say this? Can see, say he's this? asking you to die to yourself and say, no, you can't ever expect the flesh to volunteer, to sacrifice itself. Mm. Ooh, but the self, it will always move towards self-preservation, self-protection, self-indulgence, self-glorification, self-exaltation. Self the self is all about self. Is about what I'm asking you to do <laughs> is to sacrifice that very thing that you treasure. It, mm. it's, I, I hear that? It, it appears as though in our studies, self seems to be about excess. The, the Lord never told us not to have sex. As a matter of fact, he told us to go forth and to have sex. But he gave the conditions under which we could participate. And he still does. Be not fornicators and adultery. He didn't say go into the bedroom and just, you know, look at each other from a distance and keep social distancing and populate, you know, from that. The intimacy that he wants for us to have, even in our physical relationships, which he has sanctioned, is demonstrated, I think, quite well in the Song of Solomon. There was a level of intimacy that verges on the realm of almost porn when you read through that, 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 that book. Yeah. So pleasure in and of itself, he said, for his pleasure, he created us. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are creatures of pleasure. If we have no, if we don't experience our lifestyles are literally an aesthetic, it's utilitarian in the sense that it's used to get other folks saved. So that makes perfectly good sense. But the ultimate goal is to position us so that we are experiencing pleasure in a non-destructive manner. And sin is that. You can't go out here and get drunk every day. He didn't yeah. even say you can't drink. He said be yeah. not drunk. Right. He said that he's going to drink again in the Father's kingdom. With us, he would not take the food of wine until he drinks it anew with us in his father's kingdom. So he, we knew he made wine, he drank wine, he understands the pleasures of sex, he gave it to us, he says it's a gift if you don't have to have it. So all those things are there, but what we did and what Satan did was to pervert the pleasures that God gave us. Okay, well, we, our flesh follows it after that, and what he gave to us, even with eating. You told him, said this not too many months back, if, if we didn't enjoy the taste of food, we wouldn't eat it. And if we yeah. did eat it, we would die. If, if, if the taste, of, if the feeling of having intercourse was a pleasurable, we would abstain from it and we would die off as a population, as a people, as a species. Right. So right. there's something that he's given to us. There's a pleasure that he provides us. No. In this life, there's directives that he gives us concerning pleasure that Let allows us to indulge in, in a very... Okay. Let me ask you so, uh, so why won't you have a wife in the kingdom? I'm sorry, what are you saying? Why won't you have a wife in the kingdom? I, why why would you not have a wife in the kingdom? You would. I mean, if you desire one, you know, if, if it's useful, no, 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 not no, no, every no. man's going to get it. No, I mean, in the consummation of the kingdom. Yeah. Would, why would, would I have a, a wife in the consummation of the kingdom? In heaven. In Don't heaven. know. Don't know. Uh, I know that he said you would not be married, neither would you be given in marriage. The only thing I can equate it to is that we won't be repopulating like that. We, we won't be replenishing through sexual intercourse if well, we are right. multiplying anymore. Well, here's what I'm, all I'm telling you is this. Is that, let me read you this verse from Psalm first, and then maybe you'll get the gist of it. Uh, this is Psalm 36. 
All right, let me get it up there for you. Right, let's see, Psalm 36. Yes, sir. One second, I'll be there with you. All right. Uh, it, it, it kind of like this psalm is a contrast between what happens in, in the world and what will happen uh, in God's kingdom. Mm. It starts out by talking about the transgressing of the wicked. It says the transgressing of the wicked says Within my heart, there is no fear of God before his eye. Mm. <clears throat> he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Mm. There's a lot to be said about that. Yeah. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He has left off to be wise and to do good. He devises mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. Mm. He abhorred not evil. Okay. That's one of the things God said about Job. Okay. That he did abhor evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reaches unto the, unto the cloud. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains, thy judgment are as a great deep. O Lord, thou art preserved. Thou preserveth man and beast. Uh -huh. Thou excellent is the of the kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. Okay. Yes, they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. Uh -huh. Listen carefully. Thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasure. Preach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What well, I'm trying to get you to understand now is there is this physical thing of pleasure. That it really, that God uses and built into us for his purpose. Okay. But those things were never intended to control you. Amen. Amen. Those things were never intended to be your God. Now, so, so now, to fulfill his purpose, there is there's gratification in the sexual union for the purpose of procreation. Okay. Amen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You follow me? Yes, sir. Okay. In the grace and mercy and goodness of God, when we eat food, there is, and you have to be careful with all these things now, because whatever you derive pleasure from has the, has the potential to become a stumbling block for you. Amen. <laughs> you can forget that God gave you food for sustainment. And all of a sudden, get addicted to the pleasure of eating. Yeah. <laughs> right. You can forget that God gave you sex for procreation and get addicted to having unbridled, uncontrolled sex. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. And, and, and I think in the world system, that's a norm. So if you don't have that government call the Holy Ghost that that kind of puts you know put the put a, a, a limit on what we are willing to do to engage in those things. But at some point, when the Holy Spirit is in you and working in you, you become convicted when you go to excess. Overeating, hmm, it starts to bother you. Uh, lusting starts to bother you. Uh, the overdrinking starts to bother you. There's something about the presence of the Holy Spirit in you that lets you know you've, got, you've exceeded the limit. You can, you can what did he say? Uh, in, in something about having the, the wife of your youth, that you should enjoy the pleasures of your wife of your youth. But somebody else's wife and somebody you're not married to, we're to abstain from. If we don't, then death ensues in some manner or another. So, so, so when you start talking about Jesus, you see, when you start proclaiming the gospel, yes, sir. See, <clears throat> all of these things now are going to be confronted and going to be dealt with because Jesus is interested in dealing and killing anything that controls you beside God. What we really don't like about the gospel here is that the gospel requires you to surrender your control. Amen, man. Amen. I'm not about personal control. He's asking you for absolute and true control. And nobody is receiving it. We even 
story that comes into play that has a problem. That's what I'm saying. We can talk that we are supposed to be in control. And so that is why people are really going to want to hear about the gospel. It's because this gospel that we preach, this gospel that God has called us into, is a gospel that goes to the very heart of the all that we know is called life. It causes us to realize you're not living in the life the way God put it to you living. What you're living is a triple counterfeit of the real thing. But because we are addicts, I'm going to be a real one there. Because we were all addicts when we heard the gospel preach. We were addicted to pleasure for ourselves, addicted to glory for ourselves, addicted to resolving ourselves. No one wants to hear that all of a sudden now you got to vacate the throne. That's why the gospel is not uh, popular. That's why we don't want to hear it. Now, if we don't teach them anything they're alive and continue to have what they already got. So we need to I mean, uh, uh, Bishop, you're at least on my end. I couldn't understand what you were saying. Amen. Uh, I, I could hear them, but I, I had to weed through. Somebody's trying to jam them, basically. It's, it's a jamming, but I could hear them. It's, it's the devil it's, it's, trying to jam. Yeah, them, obviously. Can, yeah, because he was trying to. You can hear him saying it just be a jam a little bit. I, I couldn't understand the word he was saying, really. No. Is this your mic then? It must be the mic. You need to go 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 in your cabinet and grab some of that <laughs> anointed oil and just pour it all over your speaker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> your microphone. <laughs> back, 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 away from, back away from it, Bishop, but I think you're maybe just too close to it. Okay, it's, it's it's still uh it's something rubbing while he's moving uh, against his mic. Cause it was, I can hear. I was. I was weaving through the jamming though, cause I can hear what he's saying. But I understand, Jimmy. Could you hear him? I just couldn't understand. No, it's distorted. Something's going on. Maybe he needs to log out and then come back in or something because there was quite a bit of distortion for everyone. I think only when you're speaking though, Lee. When everyone else is speaking, they're still coming through clear. So if something happened on your end. Yeah, it's happening now, I guess. So, so it, it's it's part of the mic, then probably. How about now? No, not yet. Man, this is crazy. He was just as clear as can be before. <laughs> the jet, man. Before hey, look, he really got it. into what his message was, you know. So that that's why I say. <laughs> There's some demonic forces <laughs> all up in your 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 microphone, brother. <laughs> Find that demon in Jesus' name, and in the name of the Lord, we cast it out. And he amen. Talking, he talking, amen. He talking good yeah. now. And, or on. it could just be demonic forces in all of our speakers, <laughs> and he's yeah. speaking fine. <laughs> he talking good. He talking good now. If you if y'all listen, <laughs> the devil came and snatched the word out before it got it. <laughs> I got it. He didn't even get it delivered. He just got snatched in middle. Hey, Bishop, I think they, I think they hear you now. You're not destroying it now. If you want to go ahead, he he's out. Oh, he, he, he logged off. Oh, that's what, okay. He probably gonna come back in. He logged off, yeah. But but you know why he's waiting to come back in? The thing about it, I was saying, live by this. Amen, man. Not 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 as a cliche. Hey, I remember one time, Brother Jackson. I had a, uh, I think we had like a picnic or something. It was it was some kind of outdoor event with uh people and i had gospel music playing Amen, yeah you know you go to you know you have a a function and you you have all that reggae music or whatever music right, right i had right, gospel right. music and, and, and one of my relatives came to my brother and said uh uh why is he playing that music for right uh -huh. <laughs> and, and then my brother said well that's just how he is uh -huh. That just that just he just that's how he is. He just wanted to play gospel music. It wasn't he he's not trying to offend nobody now. It's just that's just how he is. Amen. And, and I'm and I'm saying is maybe that's how we supposed to be. Well, well what, that scripture ahead. that you put up that I read, didn't it say our manner of life? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's your, we should be known by who the guy I remember one guy said, always preach the word. 
and, the, and when necessary, use words. <laughs> you few words, right? <laughs> you know our our like conversation that. is actually our behavior. Hey, 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 Mr., the thing about it said to live yeah. by faith. Brother Jackson, Brother Addison said, by live by the word of God. This is your manner of life. Yes. And it's uh -huh. just, it's not Bible thumping. It's just who you are. You know, and I do like the fact that even Jesus did. Uh, he said the kingdom of heaven is like so. So parables, you can use parables of the day's time to to talk about the kingdom. What do you think, Jimmy? Does that make sense? Well, you know, I was just thinking, you know, uh, and it's just a question. Are there certain gatherings or are there certain situations or when, when certain events are happening, um, would it be inappropriate? Or could we say that's an inappropriate time to to, 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 to uh, put on that type of music or to, or, or to get preachy or whatever? Is there times or opportunities or places or things that come together where it's inappropriate to play gospel music or to preach or to be or to be preachy. And I, I'm just asking, you know, I'm not saying one way or the other, I'm asking. What do you all think about that? What does that scripture talk say about be in season and out of season? Yeah, well, oh yeah, I'll look it up for you. Yeah, you're right, be, be in season and out of season, but I'll keep some of the fact is that we gave the scripture the saying is that we shall live by. So, so that means I was to stop living <laughs> by. Right? The just shall live by brother Isaac, that makes sense where I'm coming from. The just shall live by faith. By faith. You know, I, I think uh Pastor Taylor, you should uh, just stop being black. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's almost like that, right? <laughs> or stop eating. You need not to be black today. You, you just stop doing that. <laughs> but Jimmy, Jimmy, and, and but, but brother Isaac, the question is, should is there any if time is not appropriate, but the question is. That that means stop living. Stop being. No, no, no. I know there 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 are some some environments that I think you you can find yourself uh, not needing to to be boisterous or or play music that uh, offends people. You know, if they're offended, they're going to be offended anyway by the word. But your life should be displayed the way it is. We 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 are who we are. And, no and different he, than we're 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 black. We're men of color, and we can't change that. Right. You I, know, our culture is our culture, right. and where we go. We just live our culture. Now we could, we could not. We we can go and 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 not eat soul food. <laughs> we don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> we can eat a taco <laughs> oh, or, or a burrito. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that you know right. our our life is to accommodate others, but in a in but you still. You still are living by the word of God. Right. Now the question, I guess the question is, we probably want to put this in perspective. What does it mean to live by the word of God? And and I'm trying to use examples, right? The scriptures, the scriptures we have got parables in it, got testimonies in it, it got things for instruction, for <laughs> correction, for proof. But let's look at some of the examples. For for example, the, the good Samaritan. <laughs> 